There's a spirited debate ensuing throughout the entire region, and it's all about the creative industries. I think that the greatest um, deficit to the growth of the creative industries is the lack of entrepreneurship. It's only at the point, I think, when someone from abroad says, oh my God, this is incredible, that we turn our attention to it. So we're very reactive. The question is, do we have the cadre of people to infuse these ideas into our entrepreneurial communities, uh, into our governmental agencies? And the answer is, well, not yet. Like many other discussions within Cari Forum, its participants are passionate advocates for change in an environment where change is sometimes difficult and often slow in coming. Creative people here exist by the grace of God. You know, um, you know, just from elementary things like grant funding, that it doesn't exist. These things just don't exist. The first question they ask you is, what else do you do? And um, just being taken seriously. Cultural industries I w are not definitely not given the same sort of treatment as the other major industries, without a doubt. And while it may appear to be a continuous struggle for many, the natural and innate ability to create and express an unquestionable talent always appears to trump the daunting difficulties of progress. And there are those who believe that this sometimes causes the blurring of priorities. It's a natural talent. You know, it's kind of like you see in Bolt. He runs the 100 meters, but it's not his passion. His passion is the 200. But he can run it and he wins. And, and I suppose that is how, in my view, we approach things. We're good at singing. We're good at dance. We're good at creative stuff. We're, you know, we're brilliant. But we, we don't see it as an economic venture. If you just consider the breadth of craft sector alone, and consider the number of persons who are engaged, whether full-time or part-time. And if we actually did a study in terms of the turnover, so I think we'd be surprised. But I am not aware of any great level of investment made in the craft sector. It, we see it as, you know, something I say people do for tourists, but we don't I don't think appreciate um, the contribution it makes. And it's the same for theater, it's the same for music, etc. I'll give you one example, and you can say that example right across the board. In soca music, for instance, there's one person that makes $54 million. Then there's what, seven people that make between one and two million dollars. If you subtract prize money from that, those winnings, they make about 0.5 to just over a million. And below that, everyone else subsists. People are scrambling around to try and you know, save their house, their car, you know, um, or if they even have that, to pay rent, you know, or just, you know, that's not an industry. How could we also, in an era where we say we want to maximize our resources, how could we have one national event that only caters to one genre of music? So if we are really saying that we are serious about transforming economies and building the cultural sector, then we're going to have to educate our audience, our people, about changing what these carnivals or crop overs really mean and broadening the agenda to reach people all across the world. But before we begin to consider this entire discussion, one of doom and gloom, we should consider the reality. There is no denying the fact that the Caribbean region is known for its talented individuals, but clearly more needs to happen to turn all its talent into economic earners. You hear a lot about export ready and entering the international market. Um, obviously, if we're talking of growth and expansion, that internationalization has to be a part of it. But I think we need to step back a bit and really understand 
the necessity of investing in development. We have underinvested in creative entrepreneurship. And in many respects, although we have very competitive art forms, these art forms are really being exploited by other people um, through their entrepreneurship and managerial skills. And so the bulk of the returns does not redound to the region. And I'm saying that until the region understands that its first commitment must be to itself, and then everybody else after, we will, we will, we will have these same discussions until, you know, I'm six feet under. The idea is to begin to, to change the conversation about this and to change how people see it. Because I think that is always one of our critical problems, how people see, you know, the creative industries, tourism, all that we do. Unless it's hardcore manufacturing, we don't see it as an economic, you know, industry. We see it as, oh yeah, these guys go and sing. Do you know how much millions these guys earn? Do you, do you have any idea how much money is earned? You know, but we, we don't, we don't link it. And so I think that is, we would like to begin to build out the policy framework for that.